seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go up to air center. Vehicle catching down range. Change one engine chamber, pressure turn on. Moving through the clouds there, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40. Coming up next, we'll throttle down the nine Merlin engines on the first stage to prepare for max Q at about T plus one minute and 12 seconds. Power and telemetry nominal. Vehicles on the right track. Now, as you may already know, max Q is the period of flight with the highest max Q. With that call out, we now have three events coming up in quick succession, so I'm going to talk through all of them right now. We'll start with MECO, followed by Stage SEP, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine M1D engines shut down on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for the, the next event, has started. which is stage separation, or stage SEP for short. That's where the first stage separates from the second. Right after stage SEP, the first stage will start its journey back to Earth for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. During that time, stage two will continue on its journey to space with a third event in the sequence, sequence, second engine start. And Miko. Stage separation. With that, we have confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and you can see there on the right-hand side of your screen, second engine start one. While the first stage burn is in progress, we are expecting ferry to, while the first second stage burn is in progress, excuse me, we are expecting ferry deployment as well. Fairing separation. Oh, great view of fairing separation there on the right-hand side of your screen. It is now T plus three minutes and 40 seconds into today's mission. In order to complete today's landing, the first stage has two burns. of signal, Bermuda. The first stage has two burns left. Right now, we're watching the MVAC burn on the second stage. Next up, the first stage will perform its entry burn, where three of the Merlin 1D engines will reignite. This helps to slow the Falcon 9 first stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. That entry burn should start just about two minutes and 15 seconds from now and will last about 20 seconds. Just in case you are just joining us, we had a successful liftoff today at 12.30 a.m. Eastern time from Pad 40 in Cape Canaveral, Florida. We had successful liftoff, MECO, stage SEP, fairing separation, and ignition of our second stage engine, which you can see on your screen right now. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. And hearing from Mission Control that both vehicles are right on track. The second stage, we are expecting this burn of the MVAC to last another two minutes. starting to get some views from the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen now, and you can continue watching the telemetry in the lower corner. Stage one, FTS has safe. Stage one, entry burn startup. There's the confirmation that we've started that first entry burn. Again, this is gonna be the first of two before we hopefully stick the landing. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. There's confirmation that we've completed the stage one entry burn. Eco one. Stage one landing burn. Nominal orbit insertion. There we've got the call out for second engine cutoff one and nominal orbit insertion on our second stage. Right now we are watching stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you just saw a successful 14th landing for this particular booster, which also marks our 195th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and heavy first stages. 
with confirmation of successful second engine cutoff and first stage landing. We're going to be in a coast phase until just before the second relight of our MVAC engine on the second stage, which will be followed by payload deployment. So sit tight and we'll see you back here around the T plus 28 minute mark.